Good morning. It is the first week back at uni. I've been sick this week, so I actually missed my first day because I just felt so bad. I'm definitely not 100% as you could probably hear, but I'm going to try and at least go to my briefing this morning because I think it's really important to hear it from my tutors rather than just like seeing it online. That's at 10 o'clock today. It's currently 9. We're supposed to have a workshop in the afternoon as well. I'm not sure how much energy I'll have by then. Does my hair look really stupid? This is like a new hairstyle that I've tried. I feel really weird. Anyways, um, I think it's like a four week project maybe, which is so hard. It usually takes me like two weeks to get into something. I'm kind of really nervous for this one. I also need to choose my option for my other unit, which is like a collaborative project. So like I could be working with people on other courses so like graphic design interior design which really sucks i just i hate relying on other people to do work and i also saw last year's projects and they were all shit like no offense to all of those people like they probably hated it too the outcomes were just so bad i'm just not looking forward to it i just spent 15 minutes fiddling with my hair because i didn't like it <laughs> I'm trying to follow this girl's tutorial on TikTok, but she just has shorter hair than me. So I've just had to angle my hair down rather than like up. Now I need to brush. Okay, let's run. struggling with the wi-fi <laughs> so fun i keep having this issue where my laptop won't connect and it says something about like my ip address being used is someone else using my ip address i don't know like, I'm, I'm confused and i just called up the customer service which is always such a ball ache now in half an hour i'm gonna have to go back to uni for a talk and i was supposed to spend this time actually doing work but i was on fucking customer support. I quite like the briefing to be fair. We have to make a poster about a band, a musical band, and then we've got to also include like a soundscape to it. What I do need to do is do a bit of preparation for my CP2, which is my contextualizing practice unit on monday i'm supposed to go to a workshop with some drawings or photography or something but i missed the lecture on monday because i was sick so i'm going to catch up on that now because i've got an hour until i have to leave i also asked my tutor if he could release my grades because basically i got an extension and so i don't get my grades released until the extension release date even though it says that they're graded they just don't release it, which is really fucking annoying. But he said that he's gonna release it early for me anyways.
busy day for some reason i woke up at like 5 30 in the morning i'm exhausted <laughs> i mean i was gonna wake up at six anyway to go to the gym but it just felt crazy to be up before six but yeah i went to the gym and it was so hard because i just felt so weak it's crazy how much just a week off will do to you so yeah that was difficult but i felt so good after then i came back made some tiktoks <laughs> and also did that homework for my workshop today it didn't even matter because like barely anyone did it went to that and then went to Lidl to do a food shop i don't usually go to Lidl, but it's like on the way home and it's so like handy it just stressed me out in there because it's quite small and it's always crazy busy but i'm glad i went because it was really cheap for the amount of stuff that i got i'm starving i haven't had lunch but i'm gonna do some meal prep because i hate cooking i've just been trying to do like loads of meals all at once so that <laughs> i don't have to cook again i'm such a creature of habit and I will like eat the same thing over and over again until I get bored. I've done like all of my uni stuff for the day. I've been using my papier planner. It's really pretty. They did gift it to me, which is so nice and so, so useful. So I've planned out my whole week, put in which days I'm in work, which days I'm in uni, and also like all of my social media stuff. If you want anything from papier, I've got a link in my description box, which I think you can get like 10% off or something, can't remember but they do have really good stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of reading for my contextualizing practice. Last term, I found that really helpful when it came to writing my essay. I already had quotes from relevant material that they'd actually given us. So that was part of my research already done. So I'll do that. Oh, also, so fun. But I was just leaving the business school and this girl stopped me. I think her name was... Aisha and she was like I watch your videos and I was like ah. I might have just seemed really like kind of subdued in the moment but inside I was kind of freaking out but she was like yeah I really love your videos can I get a picture and I was like okay the one day where I don't wear makeup to uni <laughs> hi if you're watching it was really nice to meet you that just made my day so yeah if you do see me in public please say hi because it makes me very happy <laughs> which I actually really enjoy. It's just really fun to like be strong. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly eat my lunch. I'm gonna pack my bag, go to uni and do some work. I don't have any workshops today or classes, lectures, but I have a lot of work to do. So that's what I'm gonna do until the end of the day.
more tomorrow. It'll be fine. I'm exhausted now, so I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.